Praise the Lord, beloved of the Most High God, in the mighty name of King Jesus. This is just a quick word, and of course the phone has to run right when I'm doing it. Uh, I was meditating on something I thought I'd share with you, which is how the Word of God is prophetic in and of itself. Most Bible scholars have agreed that at least roughly two-thirds of the Bible, 60% for better, is prophecy. And I was thinking about how by sticking to the Word of God, despite whatever the reports were in the media about the scandemic, whatever you want to call it, planned By sticking with the Word of God, it, um, it made some of the things that I was saying, sharing with believers, as these things were unfolding, it made me look like I had a prophetic word. Well, I did, but I didn't. <laughs> because, see, a lot of times people uh, were, were saying they're operating in the prophetic, and, and they may be, I'm not negating that, there is a word of prophecy, there is the prophetic, there is what the Lord can speak and tell you what is about to transpire. Sometimes many years in advance, millennia in advance. That's what this book is about. We flip over, if we were back at the time that the book was finished being written in the Greek, and we saw the book of the Revelation of Jesus Christ, we could see the end from the beginning. Just like the Lord promised. He said, I am the Lord. I show you the end from the beginning. So by sticking with his word, then there's a whole lot of things concerning end time that have already been prophesied. And we didn't see these things transpire yet. But now they're falling in front of our eyes and we can go, oh, I know what this is. This. So by sticking to the word, it made a lot of what I was saying seem prophetic. But as I've said before, I'm not a prophet. But the word of God is prophetic. So when you stick to the word, you really will be operating not only within the spirit of prophecy, but within his word, which is prophecy. So what I'm trying to say is this. For example, back when the scam scandemic started, I was saying, this is not what we're being told. You have people screaming. Christians now. Oh my God, we're all going to die. And that it was, uh, what was it they were saying? Oh, it was weaponized. You know, the, the, the CV-19 was weaponized and all this stuff. And you got to speak in code because of these demonic algorithms. If you don't, then they want to block your content. So, <laughs> anyway, that being said that the V-I-R-U-S like when your children your parents <laughs> knew you couldn't spell yet so they'd say stuff in front of you and spell it so the, the V-I-R-U-S I said I don't care what these devils are saying the Bible says there's nothing new under the sun and it's what's so irritating to me is you had Christians running around contributing to the scare factor to scare the heaven out of everybody and now that we're coming on the end of this stuff and people are seeing it was a lie and seeing we were lied to and seeing we were getting gang it makes the things that I was saying look prophetic because I stuck with the word of the living God and every person that did did not get fooled did not get tricked hoodwinked bamboozled bushwhacked snickered and taken by a bunch of bum. It made us look prophetic because we stuck with the word. I looked at Ecclesiastes and Ecclesiastes said, there is nothing new under the sun. Nothing. And so by looking at that, I said, well, the Lord is the one that spoke. The mouth of the Lord has spoken that. So if he said nothing is new, I don't care what they say. If they say we just found a brand new blah, 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 whatever it is, they lie. 
Because the Bible says there's nothing new in this. So, I stuck with that. And I said, Lord, I'm going to stand on your word. That's why the Bible says, stand therefore. <laughs> when you stand on his word, you can't go wrong. His word is forever settled in heaven. Whatever he has said is going to be, is going to be. So I said, I'm going to stand on your word. You said there's nothing new. I don't care what science is saying. I don't care what all the talking heads are saying. I don't care how many PhDs, MDs, this D, that D that they got. Your word is true. And sure enough, coming all the way down through, it's exactly what the Lord said. There ain't nothing new. They was lying. They were lying. We know they were lying. I knew they were lying from Jump Street because they contradicted his word. So, let this be a lesson to us all. Because all it did was further undergird and strengthen my faith. That when you look into the word, whatever it is they're telling you, try to find it in the word. Try to see what the word says about it. And go with what the word says about it. Because God cannot lie. So even if they're saying it's the exact opposite, oh my God, we're all going to die. What does the word of God say? And stand on that. Be encouraged, beloved. Because this is not even going to be probably the worst thing that they lie about. As the Lord tarries, we're in the beginning of sorrows, in my never to be humble opinion. And... Uh, we're going to see a lot worse things. But be encouraged because Jesus told us exactly when the end shall come. He said it's when the gospel is preached in all the earth. Then shall the end come. So be blessed, beloved of the Most High God, in the mighty name of King Jesus. Amen.